Hi, my name is Allegra Hart Epstein, and this is my interview for Theater Bridge at Brown University. Well, it all started when I was probably three, and I saw my first play, Beauty and the Beast, with my mother and my father and my twin brother, and I just fell in love with it. It was amazing. I just... I even got out of my seat and went to the front row while my brother fell asleep and I just, I, I loved it and and I just didn't want to leave. I just, and then I just continued going to plays, especially on Kids Not on Broadway, which is actually my birthday, which is really wonderful. And another instance like that was when I was in first grade and we saw Les Mis and I was just so wrapped up into it. I, I the French Revolution was so amazing to me and I was so happy and the guns, sh like, shout, the um, pistols and everything just were spectacular and my brother cried, of course, and left the room and I didn't understand why. I just got so into it. And after that, I, I asked my mom to, you know, give me dance lessons and to give me singing lessons and it was wonderful and my mom was very happy to oblige and my dad is actually a singer too, so that was very helpful. And so I took a lot of singing lessons. I still take singing lessons today. And I did a lot of ballet. I did jazz. I did show dancing, which was my favorite. And I had wonderful teachers, and it was great. But there was always a little bit something missing. Like, I, I wanted to be on Broadway, but I guess I didn't really think about the acting part until I saw my probably my the first straight play that I really resonated within me was um, probably The Glass Menagerie. And, and um, I saw it with my mom and my best friend, and and I the characters were so tragic and sad and so interesting, and and I I kind of related myself to them in some ways about how I am so like sometimes I feel so alone and sad and weird, and I wonder if people remember me like it happened to her, and after that I asked my mom if I could have acting lessons and she was very happy to give them to me and the first time I really had any acting lessons was over the summer I went to New York Film Academy and for two summers actually and I I really I really fell in love with acting then it I I just loved it it time flew by so quickly I never wanted it to end and most importantly it, when I played characters all sorts of characters I kind of found out more about myself because when I played a character, I just I had to use something from me, and I just self -explora exploration. I kind of like was able to figure out how I have a little bit of this character in me. Because every character, honestly, there's there's something in them that you have too, and it was so interesting to find that out. So I just loved it, and it, it was intriguing, and I just never I loved to think about the characters when I got home and think about what they did before it and everything. I just, it's so interesting to me and I want to continue it. And this summer I'd love to go to this and really watch other people on stage do it, help them and 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 work on myself too and, and, and new ways. And it's just, it never gets boring and I really would love to do it, keep it going. One of the things you learn in acting is the presentation of self, which can help you in anything you do, even just daily life. And so, above all, that that will help me in, in my life and everything I do, just talking to my friends, talking to my teachers, um, explaining things to others, it, it will help me with everything. And if acting is not what I choose to do in my life. It will help me in the other careers that I decide to do, which is like, which is uh, uh, either law or psychology. And um, in law, you have to really understand your case, understand why everything happens, what motivated you know, this person to do this and that person to, to do that, which is something you learn in acting. Um, why people do things, motivations, and 
in psychology, um, we you really have to understand your patient, what goes through their mind, what is their analysis analyze them, which is something you have to do in acting. You have to analyze your character, you have to dissect them, you have to take everything out and understand why this happened, why, what would make them do that? My um, hobbies and enthusiasms that aren't related to the arts are animals. I love animals. I have a rabbit named Giovanni and a dog named Yankee and he is my pride and joy. I He's my best friend and we got him when we were in third grade. We, um, My family adopted him from the Bronx and that's why his name is Yankee and I love him and he takes up all my time and I just, he's just the best. I love taking him for walks and and just feeding him, not picking up his poop, but everything but that is great. And now he wants to go. Oh so thank you for watching, and I hope I see you this summer. Bye.